Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Under the Neon Lights by Sleepy Eyes The neon lights of Cobain White's grocery store buzzed and flickered in the cool night air, casting an ethereal glow on the bustling city street. Below him, the city pulsed with a vitality not unlike a living organism. His unassuming shop, with its weather-beaten sign and welcomed familiarity, was a refuge amidst the hotbed of crime, noise, and urban desperation. But if you peered closely beneath the surface of this ordinary facade, you would find the workings of a cunning fraudster. From the outside, Cobain seemed like the average good Samaritan, offering fresh loaves of bread to the elderly and leading fundraisers for the local school. Unknown to these trusting folks, Cobain, together with his accomplice Morgan Hart and Leo Rodriguez, painted a different picture. A wary eye might detect the secretive huddles in the back corner of the store, or the intricate dance of code and disguise they executed with elegance and perfect time. Morgan, the tech genius, would often hunch over his laptop, the glow illuminating his face as his fingers deftly danced over keys, infiltrating security systems with just a few strokes. Meanwhile, Leo, often transformed beyond recognition, played the crucial role on the ground, changing identities like a chameleon changes colors. When news circulated about a local gang's interest in their store, Cobain was quick to react. A united front, they began planning for another grand con, a counterfeit scheme so elaborate it could outwit even the most meticulous of minds. They slithered through the underworld, traded for counterfeit papers with secret allies, and prepared for their magnum opus. A freeze of sweat formed on Cobain's forehead as he entered the den of the gang leader, tracing the contours of his face with his thumb. He could feel his heart hammering against his chest, threatening to blow their plan apart. But he was reminded of the price of failure, his beloved sanctuary, and Morgan's life forfeit to the mercy of the gang. In Rodriguez, a whirlwind of changing faces played the part of an influential crime lord interested in the gang's territory to ensure their eyes stayed off Cobain's grocery store. As the scheme unfolded, tension coiled tighter in Cobain's chest. He watched Morgan, eyes focused on a small device, sweat darkening patches on his shirt bypassing security networks. Cobain remembered the countless scams they'd pulled off before, the thrill of victory, the exhilaration of fooling the world. But today, the rush didn't come. He only felt a deep, gnawing fear. All because failure meant more than just losing the grocery. It meant losing their lives. Everything hinged on the final move. A face-off with the gang at the store, there they were, Morgan, Rodriguez, and him, the small-town criminals against a formidable wave of gun-carrying thugs. 
one sloppy move and the curtain would fall. And then, it happened too fast, a flurry of gang members, shouting and chaos. And then, silence. Morgan lay on the floor, blood spreading out from his body like a blossoming red flower. Cobain felt the world tilt. His friend, his comrade, his brother was... Cobain's eyes met Rodriguez's as they understood the price of victory. The counterfeit papers were in the gang leader's trembling hands. Their store was theirs again, but at a cost too painful to bear. As the roar of sirens echoed through the night, Cobain White's grocery stood defiantly under the neon lights, guarding deep within its walls the painful sacrifice and tragic tale of a con artist, a hacker, and a master of disguise. Their ordinary grocery store was home once more, but it was a home mourning the death of one of its own, a sacrifice that was testament to their togetherness, bravery, and their never-dying spirit.